Hi, I'm John Davis, CTO of Entex Corporation. I'm excited to showcase our Mini 3 extraction system. This is a full end-to-end -end solution for cannabis and hemp extractions using cold ethanol, all closed loop, designed and built for the EU GMP and GMP pharma grade facilities. This features biomass extraction, evaporation, and distillation all in line and allows you to process fully closed loop from biomass input to a final product output. I'm going to showcase some of the features of this equipment. This is the Entex extraction module, where the process starts. This piece of equipment is this extraction centrifuge. This whole system is built in-house. We build the centrifuge, the sealing elements, the rotating equipment. Everything is designed in-house for our engineering team and built in-house as well, machine fabricated on. This is designed to hold up to 15 pounds of biomass input using cold ethanol extraction. This removes the oil in a very clean way, so you don't get the fats and lipids, the chlorophyll out of the process. Biomass goes into this piece of equipment here, and we call it hands-off. From there, you just press start on the HMI. We supply an explosion-proof HMI, so you can walk around all of the equipment. You can control every single piece of process, and you can monitor the feedback from this equipment as well. This is a really handy tool. You press start on the HMI. It runs all of the extraction routines, temperature control, fills, um, extracts, agitates uh, for the required set time, um, and then it centrifuges the solvent out of the biomass. After that process is complete, your biomass comes out, and your next bag goes in. That's the extent of the manual labor that goes into this piece of equipment. From there, everything runs in the background. You press start, all of that runs in the background. So the total cycle time on this is typically 20 to 25 minutes from bag in to bag out. And from that standpoint, you can be off doing other things, maintaining other pieces of the equipment and running the lab. It's a really nice piece of uh, automation software that allows us to run this in this fashion. Everything that we have over here is built by our team from the tanks that are insulated and jacketed to the process piping, the sensors, um, all of the equipment that goes onto this. So while the process is running, we're monitoring both the temperature of the extraction loop, as well as uh, having a visual feedback from our site glasses. This allows you to look at really the color content and quality of that extraction. We monitor both on the extraction loop and we monitor post-filtered uh, tincture coming out of the carbon and uh, particulate filter sets. A couple of features I want to showcase are the carrot design that we took into paneling all of the interior gray spaces of the equipment. So the working surfaces are very clean. All of the sensors are wired to be routed into, into the inside of the equipment. The back panels allow for a very clean work environment that's very cleanable and, and sanitary. So when extraction is running, through your bags of biomass that are in this extraction centrifuge, we have a roughing filter that allows you to look at product quality as it's coming out. What this does is it captures any of loose particulates. If, a, if you have a break in the bag or a, an issue with your um, fines coming through the bag, this captures that. So it prevents this from sending those particulates through your pumping system and, through, and clogging your downstream uh, fine filtration. Downstream of that, before we go to evaporation, we have particulate filters. We have dual stage particulate filters consisting of a lenticular style particulates filter and a post uh, par particulate carbon set. This allows us to clean up color and have the best quality of product going through evaporation so we can recover that and send it to crude or, tank or uh, distillate. So this is on the, the back of the equipment here. This is the evap feed tank. This is where tincture, post-filter tincture is stored. This uh, tincture is sent to the evaporation system. We can monitor flow rates using this at level controller or flow controller, and we can also look at quality coming into the equipment. This is uh, in fitted with sensors, level sensors and temperature sensors for feedback to the system. This can also be started from the remote touchpad. So the second part of the process utilizes the Intex evaporation module. What this does is it separates the solvent from your oil that you collected in extraction. So this solvent is 
run through first a rising film evaporator. What this does is it starts increasing quality of your uh, tincture of your solvent as, you, as it rises up the heat exchanger. This comes into the falling film evaporator, which does most of your work on the evaporation. So this removes most of the solvent from your oil. What you're left with at the bottom of this falling film is a concentrated uh, crude oil, so a concentrated oil blend. So what we do with this piece of equipment is we send this over to a desolvent decarb tank. What this reactor does is it utilizes heat and agitation and vacuum to remove residual solvent, get it down to below the acceptable threshold for solvent levels, and it also decarboxylates your product. So you're left with a full spectrum crude oil after this piece of equipment. If you're running hemp, we can also remediate with this piece of equipment as well, so you can offtake a uh, tea-free crude oil from directly from this process. All of this is censored with level sensors, temperature monitoring, vape, um, uh, vacuum level sensors, and controlled via the HMI. So you can come over here and press start, and the whole system just runs. It's very hands-free and allows you to start in front of the process as you're working on things and monitoring tank levels or whatever you're doing. What another feature for that is very useful on this piece of equipment is a sampling port. So while the process is running, you can take samples of your product and use HPLC analysis or send, send out to labs for analysis without ever breaking vacuum or introducing oxygen to your product. So you're left with a full spectrum crude oil on the output of this equipment with no uh, open pores from extraction. It's very important to state it's all close to this point. So this is our Entex distillation module. This supports refining of your crude oil that's generated in the evaporation uh, platform. What this allows you to do is send product directly over from the evaporation system into distillate so you can refine your oil and offtake without the oil ever seeing oxygen or seeing the light of day. This really increases efficiency. You don't have any pores, open pores, or product transfers that result in inefficiencies uh, and product loss. After crude oil is created and solvents evaporated, that oil becomes very, very viscous when it's cool. So from this point on, everything that is, is pumped and every, all of the flow paths for the product are thermally jacketed. So when you actually start a pump, everything flows. So you can start the process. You do not have to use heat guns and a bunch of thermal tape or whatnot to actually run your process. So this is where distillation is controlled. This is all touch screen control. This controls also all of your thermal loops. So we have multiple thermal loops that are controlling thermal jackets, condenser temps, jacket temps. Uh, we have low temp, cold traps, and all of the lines are jacketed like I mentioned. In addition, we have a stirred reactor here that feeds the distillation process. This allows you to keep the product uniform and also pull some of the lights off as that's heated and stirred under vacuum conditions in this environment. When mated with the Intex evaporation system, this allows you to push product directly over to a first pass condition to strip your lights off and, back in, and send it back into the uh, white film feed tank so you don't have to do an open pour. Like I said, that's very important for product loss and product quality. This also allows you to not have to use rotovaps, bake ovens, or other of those lab scale type of processes that are traditionally used in this industry to pull off residual solvents. Once that product is set over to a first pass condition, everything, like I said, is controlled from HMI. We can set the first pass conditions of a, of a lower vacuum and lower temperatures before we go to second pass conditions of very high vacuum using our diffusion pump and high vacuum pumping system, cold traps, and thermal loops. So as product is pumped from our white film feed stirred reactor, it comes into the white film evaporator. What this does is it separates. So this separates your residue and condenses your distillate in the inner condenser, which we pump out of the process. This allows you to continually produce distillate and continually pump while you're running this tank down. We collect our residue in this vessel here and a waste container that's inside of this that you can discard. That's a very hard and waste product when you're done with the process. We go into 
dual cold trap system that allows us to condense some of the condensables out on the first side. This is run at a, at a uh, using a glycol chiller, and then we have a liquid nitrogen cold trap to protect the vacuum system and allow us to pull really deep vacuum. We're pulling down on the 20 millitor range with this piece of equipment here and our, with our processes. All of this is controlled via the HMI. Like I mentioned, we can control rough vacuum, deep vacuum, all the jacket temps, the wiper speeds, the pump speeds, and this really allows you to just set the settings on the equipment and run your distillation process. We're taking the time to walk through our Mini 3 extraction platform. This is the future of extraction technology as facilities and customers become more reliant on compliance, on pharma, on GMP and EU GMP requirements. A full closed loop processing solution that meets those stringent quality requirements is needed. That's why the system was developed to be able to supply those customers and those facilities with this type of solution. All of our systems are built in-house in our facility in California. From the conceptual phase to engineering, design, all the way through machining and fabrication. We have a great team that puts these two systems together and I'm proud to be a part of the Entex family.